What's up guys, Larry Chan here. I have with me the unreleased, brand new Canon 1DX Mark III cameras. My friends at Canon reached out to me because they wanted me to test these out and really put them through their paces. We're gonna take them out for five straight days of shooting with seven different scenarios. We're gonna shoot at night, we're gonna shoot at the drift track, we're gonna shoot at the sand dunes. Right now, we're shooting a twin turbo Lamborghini in downtown LA. We'll take you guys along for the ride and it'll be a lot of fun. We are out here for day two of shooting. This is Radwood, which is an 80s and 90s car show. These are the cars that I grew up just looking up to and enjoying and just wishing that I could have. It's so cool to kind of be able to see this culture pop up here in Southern California. We're gonna head to Irwindale after this for the Burnyard Bash. That's when we'll actually test out the action capturing capabilities of the 1DX Mark III. People are gonna bring their cars and they will blow them up for us. All right, so we're at Irwindale Speedway at the Hoonigan Burnyard. I'm still using the 1DX Mark III's and we're really testing out the autofocus and low light capabilities of this thing. So I've been using the viewfinder and I've been using the bigger grouping focus points, but I'm also letting the camera choose which focus points to use. It's so crazy how intuitive it is. Yard ended and we got a couple hours of sleep woke up at 3 30 a.m. we've been driving for five hours we're almost to Phoenix Arizona we're just gonna be here for the day we're gonna shoot a drift event called desert mayhem I really wanted to test the capabilities of like the high-speed tracking as well as shooting with longer lenses I've had a chance to pretty much shoot from very wide to 200 millimeter, I want to shoot 200 and above at this event. I think it'll be a lot of fun.
we have a six hour drive back to LA and then we're gonna dump cards, get a hopefully a good night's rest. I'm gonna load up my 240Z and we're going to trailer it to Las Vegas. This is how we work. We just don't stop. We go from one shoot to the other. We barely have enough time to dump cards or charge batteries or even sleep. With car culture, you just can't wait around for it. It just happens. And within this short amount of time, we have to just hit all of these spots. And that's kind of why we need a camera body that can keep up with us. We don't have time to clean the cameras. We don't have time to wrap it up for the weather. When it rains, it rains. When there's a sandstorm, you know, we're gonna keep shooting no matter what. And with my 1DX2 bodies, I have three bodies that I shoot with day in and day out. They each have over a million actuations on them and they're still going strong. So that's kind of the point. That's why we use the 1D series of bodies because they work as hard as we do. Shoot number five, we are out here in Las Vegas. We just made it in time for sunset. I brought my personal 1970 240Z. It's just, this location is so iconic for my shots. I always wanted to shoot my own cars here. I've never had a chance to. But finally, because of this project, I really kind of wanted to push these cameras in low light and also with dynamic range as much as possible. I figured the Vegas skyline would be the perfect setting to kind of show that off. It's day four with the 1DX Mark III, and this is shoot number six. I'm so excited to shoot these cars. These are pretty much probably some of the best Japanese classic cars in Las Vegas. I just love doing these kind of last minute car meets just to kind of showcase what car culture is all about, especially here.
Here we are, day five and shoot seven. We did it. We really put this through the ringer, through the rain, through the dust. It's been a really fun project and I just cannot wait to shoot with these cameras day in and day out just for our normal work. Thank you so much to Canon. Thank you so much to all my friends who brought out their cars and let us into your events. We could not have done it without you guys. That's a wrap. Thank you so much.